And you know we back, same hustle, same day, but that different type of money, man. Live Hip Hop Daily is DJ Larry Love, J Black behind the camera, and I'm going to let you introduce yourself to the world, bro. It's KG GMB GMB, that guy, the whole guy, and I just have him. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it, man. KG in the building, man. Shout out to my dad, Mike Millions, in the building, too, man, working like QP, man. But QCP, my bad. But either way, man, either way it go, man. What's up, bro? How you living today, my nigga? Shit, everything good, everything good. Trying to keep everything moving. moving. Word, word, word. You from Atlanta, brother? Not from Atlanta. I'm uh, around the Athens area, Green. Athens area? Green Point, Georgia. Shout out to that. Shout out to that. Oh, Shout out man. So that's, that's above Atlanta or below Atlanta? Uh, shit, I think we little east. We little east. East, east. Okay. Shout out to that, man. So I'm pretty sure you've been, you, you that nigga out there. You know, it, yeah, I can, yeah, yeah. you know, I can feel it. You know what I'm saying? So how long you really been in Atlanta grinding this music, though? Shit, I've been pushing it, man. Uh, fucking with Atlanta. You know, that's uh, where everything, you got to get everything going in Atlanta yeah, first. So. For sure, for sure. Shit, when I started taking everything serious, that's a, that's a, my main direction and shit. Fucking with Mike, he been doing a lot of good things for me. We're going to keep it going. And when was that, when you started taking it serious? What day was that? Shit, we uh, just really ended up last year, 2018. Okay. Yeah. Goddamn, I just did my last project, uh, Straight Out the Mud. Did a uh, mixtape, uh, pushing that. Did some videos and shit, and we've been... Still uh, running, looking for more, looking for more promotion, more marketing and shit. Man, you're doing the right thing, man. You're here now, man. You made it to Live Hip Hop Daily, man. That's a start, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm glad y'all have me. Yeah, man. No, no doubt, no doubt, man. We definitely salute who's working, man. And if you buy Mike, then I know you're working. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And so with that being said, man, um, how long you had the passion for this music shit? Like, when when was it that you jumped off the porch with this shit? Like, you know what? We can get some bread off this shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it. I ain't gonna say it's been it's been really uh recent. I, I ain't gonna lie. It's really been it really been recent because um uh I wasn't taking it very serious at, at the beginning. I'm not gonna lie. I right, really, right. I really wasn't taking it very serious. Uh, I started seeing you know what I'm saying where I could go with it and the money they could come from. And then when I started putting my money into it, I was already locked in. I already didn't had too much bread locked in to see right. nothing from it. So yeah, I'm yeah. In. I'm all in now, so I got it's all it's hey, all man. on go. It take you got to go down before you come up, brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure where you come from, I got a dirt road or two, right? Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? We, we <laughs> out there in the, in the trenches in the gutter. I'm, I'm, I'm from South really. Carolina originally, brother. So that's what I'm saying. I can, I can relate. You know what I'm saying? You come to the big city, and I, like I said, I've been in Atlanta since 2003. But coming from a different place, your hustle always gonna be a little harder. It's different. It's you different. Know what I'm that's yeah. just it's just what it is, but you ain't you don't got no reason, no reason being here if it wasn't for this. Exactly. exactly. You know what I'm saying? Um, what's some of your influences though? I guess from the three six mafia days, the cash money days, up until now, like what influenced you to be who you are? Really, I uh, really I influenced a lot by the the Wap man, Guwap, Gucci Guap. man, man. <laughs> Gucci. Really, man, he put me in the perspective, you know, from being a hustler standpoint, the right. business man, and just moving. I, right. I just like how it is, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's what, that's what it drove me. Yeah, yeah man. man. I know you get real money, man, because you got a nugget ring on, man. Yeah, yeah. Niggas that write gold nuggets. Yeah, I'm with the nugget shit. <laughs> niggas you know that write saying? the nuggets. Raw, raw shit. shit. <laughs> that's yeah. pure gold, you know what I'm saying? So niggas get some real money when they write the nuggets, okay, man. Yeah. <laughs> so how respect is it? That. I guess, uh, respect that. So, so respect the, uh, and that's, that's, that's real, man. Saluting Gucci, man. And I guess, you know, if you know Gucci, you know, he was hot for 10 summers. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm talking about literally 10 summers. Like, I remember one year Gucci dropped 10 mixtapes. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And, that got to be the grind, bro. And I guess that's what gets you out your bed every day. You know what I'm saying? You got to live for something. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And uh, with this industry, everybody's chasing clout right now. You know what I'm saying? And that shit could be good or bad. You know what I'm saying? So these niggas getting locked up. And I guess what what keeps you level headed, keeps you straight on a straight arrow, man? And, shit, and I ain't going to lie, out. man. I, it's a struggle out here right now. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, everybody got their own shit going on. I ain't going right. to speak on too much of the legal shit. But, uh, you man, know, I, got, I, got, I got some of the pen and shit going on, but I yep. try to stay. And in the right in the right path. Yeah, man, yeah. Get, get to the money. The money's first, you know what I'm saying? Right. You can't get no money if you're behind the bar locked up. Fucked exactly, up. bro. It's a new it's a new gangster, man. It's yeah. a new gangster. We can rap about it on beats now. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Take it another direction. Take right. it away. <laughs> <laughs> How you take the internet now though, my brother? Like I guess where the internet is like back in the day niggas was passing out CDs out their trunk. Yeah, now like you I, got the internet. Like, I I'll just like I just did my project. I did the CDs. I ain't I'm I'm new to That's the, real, I'm bro. New to the, I ain't gonna lie, I'm new to the social shit. Yeah, yeah. Just new to the gram, you know, you can check me out It's under uh underscore KG. Underscore but the CD shit is more organic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas know like they got a CD from you, they feel like they're close to you than the yeah, Instagram. It's, page. It, it's hard it's something that they can take with them, you know what I exactly, mean? Exactly, so. exactly. Exactly. I like that, bro. I like that, bro. And I guess uh is it other rappers coming from your city that's 
that's doing this like to like you know what I'm saying yeah, to this I, level. I, I got a lot, I got a lot, I got a lot of people that's with my campaign. You know what I'm saying. I'm okay. Pushing, I'm, I'm pushing some uh, some artists that's with me, and we're grinding together. You know what I'm saying. Working yeah. together on growing. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. That's real. That's real. That's real. And that's how we you know rest in peace to Nipsey Hustle. But after it shouldn't have took Nipsey for us niggas to want to start standing together and stand you know and getting this money. You know what I'm saying. Like everybody wants. So I'm glad to hear that you got a team. But you know y'all getting to it. Y'all hustling, putting out projects. Um, you got any content out right now on YouTube? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm recently, I'm finna drop something today, actually. I just had a list of okay. party at the Alibi, you know what I'm saying? Mike, fuck with me, hook me Shout up. Shout out that, man. We gonna, we gonna drop How that shit. Alibi, you know, that's that's where you go when you see 15 females and they just all in sections, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, 15 yeah, females yeah. in every section. Yeah, it, it, you know it, was, it was it was, it was, uh, it was on a weekday, but we, we pocked that bitch up. It was, it was okay, nice, okay. <laughs> so you know you gotta go through the strip clubs next, too, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, we've been yeah, fucking yeah, with it. We've been yeah, fucking yeah. with a couple strip clubs. Shout out to V Live and Follies. Yeah, and shout out to V Live. They've been fucking with us. And, shout uh, out to Diamond Pulo. Club, too. Yeah. My yeah, dog, yeah. Big Pulu at Diamond Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulo fuck with me. I just shout out. I fuck with Pulo up there. Yeah, shout out to Pulu, man. He actually, we interviewed Pulu like, what, maybe six months to a year ago. Man, everybody sat on this couch, brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out okay. to Pulu. I've been checking y'all out, too. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. So, what you saying, with me saying that, man, um, I guess you know you know where the industry is going now, and we can talk about these niggas. We were just talking. Shout out to my guest the other day, T.Y. But it seemed like the cool thing now is get your motherfucking uh, car shot up to be a rapper, right? Like, what's going on? Like, I don't know if you seen the Rolling Loud shit in Miami last week. Yeah. But all these niggas shit getting shot up. Like, that's the cool shit to do or something. Like, yeah. how you? what's your input on that right there, bro? Shit, I ain't trying to fall into that category, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The only fucked up part about it, the funny thing about it, my car got shot up, but it ended up being by my homie on some drunk shit. So, oh, man, as long as, man. As, long as, as long as it ain't no uh, uh, I'm scared, scared to play with y'all. I'm scared to hang with y'all yeah. boys. Then y'all as, long as, it, as long as it ain't no op shit <laughs> going on, we good. I'm scared to go get Drake, go take a shot with y'all boys. Yeah. Niggas having fun shooting up cars, but what down? Yeah, that's, that's the fun? Yeah, nah, nah, it, it, it wasn't intentional <laughs> okay. at all, period. Okay. It wasn't okay. intentional, nah. Okay. Okay, okay. That's the only way my shit gets shot. Up, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck no. But nah, we man, I really think, you know, I think these niggas carrying, I mean, I think it's a clout thing, bro. Like, not all of them, of course, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just heard, I just seen shot the two chains. I see two chains just bought like a bulletproof, yeah, I seen a it. bulletproof tour bus or some wild shit, you know what I'm saying? Like a half a yeah. million. But you, but being a, like, is it dangerous being a rapper now? Like, that's to that yeah. standpoint for these niggas or something? Yeah, you gotta. You always gotta be protective of your business. You know True. what I'm saying? True. It is you, a business. And how, you, and how you move. So true. It it's is always a business. somebody trying to outdo you or trying to do wrong to you. Yeah. You gotta be prepared for that yeah. type of stuff. So now, being at this summer 2019, you know we like to call it second quarter going into third quarter. You know, it's like a game for us. You know what I'm saying? So, what's your plans for third quarter, man, in 2019? Shit, I'm I'm trying to push some more singles, man. I I grow from that project. It's gonna be a minute before I do another uh, big project like that. I'm pushing singles. Got a what's gotta, the name of the project? Uh, it was straight out the mud. You okay, know what I'm KDG okay. be straight out the mud. It's on our platforms and stuff right now. But okay, we we, we want to push some videos, man. Give some people something to look at. You got to give something to see. You know what I mean? So they can love this shit. It's almost like uh, um like cooking. You got a pot, right? You put this in first. Mm -hmm. You put this in. So the first thing you would, in your artist pot, I'm for me hearing you you putting in the work with the content. Now the visuals next. You putting in the pot. You know, visuals like the number one thing. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. So when people paint. see, you got to paint it. So how you think people gonna really interpret after you put the videos in the pot? What you think? How you think? It, you think it's gonna be stronger than what it is now, or you think it's gonna open up a different lane for you? Or I, both. I, I, I definitely, I think, I definitely think it's gonna be strong because I think people, some people are slow learners, man. True. So you gotta, you gotta True. spoon feed them sometimes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let them gradually grow toward it. Yeah. And once it goes, it's gonna go. It's so gonna go. I already, I already feel it. It's gonna it's, go. It's a lot of, it's a lot of emotion and shit. So I'm confident, man. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm, I'm, and it's a bit the summer just starting. I, I expect to see you outside that stage at Birthday Bash next year performing. If you talking about if you taking it serious and you in Atlanta now, yeah. next year I should see you on that stage outside performing at Birthday Bash. Definitely, definitely. You know what I'm saying? South by no A three C next year. I, it ain't like to say that you have to do that shit. Cause let me I, I I only been once, bro. To be honest with you, and I'm a DJ. I've been DJ for 15 years. I only been once, and I don't. To some artists, it may be you know important, but it's always good to put your music out in different networks that you're not a part of. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's South by Southwest. Rolling Loud in Miami, A3C in Atlanta. Them festivals is kind of like, I guess, something that you kind of got to attend sometime in your career, but not every time. Yeah, it's, yeah that's love, though. I, I was trying to make it out there uh, this year, but I, I didn't make it to the South by Southwest. It's all good, man. It's all good. It's all good. I'm pretty sure that time coming around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, what's, your, what's, what's your hardest single that you can that you think, out of all the music that you done made, if a person have five minutes of your time, what would be the hardest single you tell them to go listen to? Man, it's got to be... Uh, KDG will be 500 years, the one we just dropped and pushed it now, man. Well, that's, that's this the hardest shit? Yeah, 500. Out of all the shit, you, you think this the hardest yeah, shit? Hard, every time I got to come harder than
what was the, I guess, what in, in making this piece, in this content, what was it about this body of work that made it, like, you know what, this it right here? What was it, the producer? Uh, was it shit, the I had a lot of shit going on, like I said, everybody got their own stuff going on, but I, uh, I, really, I recently lost a lot of people to jail time, man. Yeah. And, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, the, the song goes, yeah, I got to pray for all the wrong I done did. If they find out the jail going to try to give me 500 years. And mm. I feel like that. Um, I feel like my people's gone. I may be next, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's real. How we moving, how we living out here, you know what I'm right. saying? And the odds against you, you know what I mean? So Yeah, man. It was it was deep to me. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. It was yeah. deep to me, and I feel like a lot of people can relate, you know yeah. what I mean? Coming I mean, from the same situation. For sure, man. And the older we get, you know, the stronger, the smarter we get, you know what I'm saying? You know, everything ain't got to be about gangster shit every day, 24-7. We got to get some money sometime. Yeah. We got to get some money one of these days, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And I like that, bro. I like to hear that. I like to hear a struggle first, bro. So I guess um, you already told me what influenced you before you jump out the porch. So I got my million-dollar question for you that I ask every fucking artist that touched this couch. Shoot. This is a million-dollar question, all right? You ready? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> On the left side, you got any producer, four of them, and your favorite fucking studio, any studio that you can go lock in with these niggas and work in to your left side. Or to the right side, you got Netflix that's going to do the star premiere they're going to make you the thing. You can talk about your right. They're going to make you the leading actor. All this premiere special. Are you going with the studios and that producer to the left, or are you going with that Netflix special to the right? I guess me being long-term, I'm, I'm an easy answer. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go with. I'm gonna go to the studio, man. And oh, okay. I'm going okay. to go to the studio, and okay. all that stuff's going to come behind. You know what I'm saying? Because I got to think, all right, is, it, is I'm going to go, uh, is the actor going to come after the studio or the studio going to come after the actor? Am I going to go do this movie or something like that and then they're going to uh, pull me to the studio or am I going to go to the studio and they're going to pull me to go that's, be an actor? You know what I'm saying? That, so what come first? That's, so that's what I'm looking at. That's smart, bro. I, and then you answer that shit with both at, hey, bro. Hey, people just, people just, stu just stumbled on that question. Bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, damn, bro, that's yeah. a good question. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, like, we was talking. Uh, what made me thought about that question was, you seen the movie Superfly? Superfly. The, Superfly. the last shit, I mean the newest, the newest shit with the, uh, what's the leader actor of Superfly, the young nigga name? The dude, he was, with a slick back, the new movie, he, like, it, they shot it here in Atlanta. Damn, I ain't caught it, yeah, I ain't caught it. Big Bad Black was in the movie. Okay, Big Bad Black was in the movie. Okay, yeah, Black, yeah. Yeah, you, so you remember that movie, Big Bad Black? So me saying Big Bad Black name, right? You know, he's the, one of the yeah. biggest gangsters in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. I think oh, he yeah. needed to go that Netflix route. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because for him, he probably been making music, right? Mm -hmm. But now that people can see that this gangster is accessible, we can talk to this gangster. Let's make let's let's put the visual. So he needed the movie route. It benefited I think. for him. I but, see what you said. Yeah, okay, definitely. But definitely. I can see how why you gave me that answer with the music. Yeah. Them producers may not be there all the time. Yeah. That studio may not be there all the time. Yeah. But if I go in and make some fire shit, that may bring me to people. See. I like that answer, bro. But you answered the million dollar question right. So you got the million dollars and you going to the studio. We lock yeah, it in. Yeah. <laughs> Before we get out of here, man, drop your Instagram, drop your social again, brother. Let the pro know who we talking to, man. Yeah, it's gonna be underscore KG GM underscore KG underscore GMB. On the ground, you know what I mean? And, okay. Uh, it's KG GMB everywhere else on YouTube, uh, all platforms. If you want to go check out the music, the new video finna drop and everything. But uh, just fuck with everything I got going on, man. Any man. features? Any features that we can look forward in the, in the future that you're yeah, working on? I just went to the studio yesterday. You gonna, If you go check out my ground, you can go tell me if it's hot or not. To decide, you know what I mean. Okay. Tell me, you know, I, I'm waiting to see if I need to drive it or not. Okay, okay. That yeah. what I, that what I'm gonna do. Do some features, then you know what I'm saying. Move forward. So that's what's okay. Coming. I like that, man. And you got the man. Like I said, you got the presentation with you, Mike Millions, in the building with you, man. So damn right. Shout out to Mike too. Shout yeah, out man. Mike Millions. You so know what I mean? when you when you okay, and let me ask you a question about having that representation. When should an artist get that representation? Should they get it when they start? Should they get it when they bubble a little bit? So you, because uh, you still gotta have a little budget. Yeah. You know, that's first and foremost. Like, let me tell, let me let me make this your rapper. If you want to be a rapper, you have to have a budget. If you don't have a budget, I got, I got an application for you that a nine to five is probably high end down the street. All right, because I'm tired of working with rappers that think that they can just be yeah. a, a artist without having a fucking budget. Like, you yeah. gotta if, take the bag. You, you gotta know, get the I mean, bag. If you, if anybody else gonna spend some money on you, you gotta spend some money on yourself first. Definitely, definitely. You know what I'm saying? So once again, for the artists, if you don't have a five hundred dollar budget, at least. I got an application for you, and I can find a nine to five down the street that's fucking hiring because you need to stop fucking wasting my time and being rappers if you can't invest it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? And that's just that's my real. That's real. That's just my input, bro. Like I don't care if it's a hundred dollars, nigga. That's starting somewhere. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas just think that getting watered down, uh, man, yeah. bro. You would be surprised in Atlanta, bro. How many people think that? Oh, I got the hottest shit. You know how many times I heard I got the hottest shit. This is all the way down in my way. <laughs> you know how many times I heard I got the hottest shit on the street right now. I already know, I already know. <laughs> but we're going to get out of here, man. Live Hip Hop Daily, man. KG, GMB. Check that. What GMB yeah. stand for? Yeah, it's gun money bosses win over losses, man. We up. You know, we I, winning. I, I like that. that. I like that. I like that, man. It's
Jay Black behind the camera. Live Hip Hop Daily, man.